right, we are officially in Marseille. Well, I have a long walk ahead of me to the next hostel. It's like, it's gonna be over an hour. So that's wonderful. I gotta figure out where to go. So I'll see you guys when I get there. This looks like a creepy like mansion <laughs> because it's like separated by a gate and a garden, I think. I'm not sure, I haven't even gone up the steps yet. I read the reviews on this one, on this hostel, and it seemed like it was really good for what it was. The problem is, is that it's a about like an hour walk or more away from the actual like main city of Marseille. We will see how it goes. It actually, yeah, it really is a long walk and it's a tiring walk at that. It's just all uphill mostly, but it's good exercise at least, <laughs> but I'm gonna go inside now. So, as I make my way up the steps to this hostel, I just wanted to tell you the name. It's called the Auberge de Jeunesse H.I. Marseille. And I think the road is called Bois, or Bois, <laughs> if you're American. It looks kind of cool from the outside, though. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Part of me thinks this looks a little intimidating, but... I'm trying to keep an open mind. How the hell am I supposed to get in here? I have no idea. It's just locked by a gate. Let me in. Let me in! All right, so some guy was really nice enough to let me in through the gate, but I'm about to go inside and experience this hostel. So let's go in. This place has its own elevator. That's that's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> so I'm on the first floor. Oh my gosh. Let's let's look at this view though, real quick. Wow. It is it is a nice place. Okay, grand reveal. Oh, it looks very similar to the other one. I mean, except that it's a lot smaller. But hey, I mean that's not bad. Now that I'm settled in the hostel, I think I'm going to go out and explore and see maybe a few things in Marseille if I can today. It is a little bit late in the day, but maybe I'll be able to see a thing or two while here. So I'll see you guys when I do. Okay, quick side note. Just as I was about to leave, they gave me an all-girls bedroom. <laughs> and so this girl came in and she was so confused and she left and came back with the receptionist and they were like oh sorry we gave you the wrong room 
And I was like, oh great, I just got settled. So, And this makes more sense because this, this is what I paid for, but I'm in a much bigger room with many more beds, but I get to, I get to be the one to pick the first bed. This is the room. This is what it looks like. Yeah, this makes a lot more sense. And it comes equipped <laughs> with a view. Very beautiful, very nice. And here's the other side. I'm probably just going to get settled for the second time and see if I can go exploring. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to do today, but we'll see. <laughs> so I'll see you guys when I do. Hey guys, I'm exploring the streets of Marseille. It's a little bit uh, sketchy, I guess is the word. There's a lot of poverty here and kind of the darker side of France, at least from what I'm seeing. I'm headed to Cour Julien. That's not too far from here because I uh, took a bus. <laughs> so I'm going there and seeing what's there because I was suggested that by the receptionist. Now yeah, let's go check it out and see what, it, what it's all about. As I walk through, here's a look of a bit of the city. And uh, it's not too bad, kind of. <laughs> it really has a lot of dirty streets. This is, this is the life. This is, this is what France is about, guys. <laughs> oh my god, I mean, look at all of this. It's graffiti after graffiti. This is crazy. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. This is where I'm supposed to be. Wow. Okay, so this is where I was led to. Very confusing. A lot of this looks very sketchy. <laughs> uh, is this really Marseille? Wow. I'm blown away. I'm blown away. I didn't expect any of this. This is a city of graffiti. A city of graffiti. And you saw it firsthand from everything I just recorded and captured. I'm gonna go take a look around and see what else there is. So, I'm sitting in a rock bar. It's like, not like a rock, but like music rock slash restaurants, like a bistro. It's actually one of the nicer places here, but it's still a bit, still a bit interesting, you know? Okay, so I asked for a white Russian drink because I've always wanted to try it because it's from the Big Lebowski and he made it for me. So I'm like kind of happy about that. So let's try it. Okay. It tastes very cinnamony and milky. Yeah, that's, that's basically what a white Russian is. So I got to try the Big Lebowski drink. This is pretty cool. much out of the and kind of the bad very dirty part of the city I don't want to say bad I mean it, it graffitis can be very cool yeah I mean it definitely dirties up the streets and things and I mean it, I don't know I shouldn't have much of an opinion on it but I mean it is what it is anyway I'm on my way to Le Vieux Port is what it's called it's the port it's a port and it has like a view <laughs> and I think that's exactly what it is so 
let's 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 go let's go see it okay get ready for a grand reveal of the port i mean i'm reacting to this live right now i'm sure we're gonna get a beautiful view especially with the sunset and everything i mean so f oh my god wow that is <laughs> i mean just that sun that sun definitely casts a beautiful light <laughs> on everything but let's get a closer look This is, this is definitely something. I mean, look at all those boats, dude. I know it goes out to the the, uh, the ocean, but I don't exactly know which one. <laughs> I my, You know, it's funny, my geography is absolutely just terrible. I have the worst sense of, of geography in anything. You know, it's kind of sad. I, I took this test that David, uh, one of my French friends, showed me, and he's back at uh, University of Essex, uh, a geography test, and it was like, blank countries and things. So he had me take this test and I was I was absolutely just terrible at, at all of it. I could barely point out where any of the countries were, but showed me a blank view of, of the world map. And yeah, I just couldn't point out any of the countries. I was I was really, really bad at bad at that. I'm really far from my hostel by the way. I I think if I were to estimate I'm about an hour and a half walk now. I'm gonna have to go soon and, and take the bus back, but I hope you guys enjoyed the wonderful view. Let's get one more look at this. Are you kidding me? I, I'm supposed to be getting to my hostel and they fucking lock, they lock the gate. Are you serious? Wow. This is absolutely ridiculous. I, am I supposed to hop the gate? Are you, are you kidding me? I guess apparently I'm supposed to go around, like all the way around just to get inside. I asked somebody and that's crazy that this hostel locks that gate. I feel like that, that there shouldn't even be a gate there. I know it's for safety, but, well, actually I can see why in a way, because this is a very unsafe city apparently. I don't know, from all the things that I saw earlier. But still, like, couldn't they have told me that? I don't know. I'm just going to make my way there and call it a night, because I'm exhausted. So I will see you guys tomorrow.